This is what track and field is ultimately whittled down to. It's just a random video with a bunch of horny dudes watching it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna talk about something that's very weird, and that is clickbait. Over time, I know that my titles and my thumbnails have become more clickbait central, but this is the game that you must play if you wanna be a full-time YouTuber. <laughs> Trust me, I have tried the other way. Uh, I gave an example of my toxic winner mindset video that I did on uh, Michael Jordan and a couple other guys. And I actually released a legitimate thumbnail for that one because I was really proud of what I had wrote. Stop. I was really proud of that Good video. Time. And that video was performing on like on such a low level that I just decided, you know what? Let's add in a little clickbait. I put pictures of Arnold and and uh, Michael in there, and then I also had a reaction picture of myself. Woo! Alex put all of that in on my request, um, and I wasn't even in the video. Now that video is one of my most viewed videos ever. So that's kind of the nature of the beast with uh, clickbait, but what I wanna talk to you guys about is how absurd this clickbait stuff is actually getting in athletics, particularly track and field. Um, and I wanna start off by talking about pole vault. Okay, so pole vault is littered with sexualized thumbnails geared towards it. And, and this is not just some sort of crazy thing that's popped up randomly. These are some viral ass videos. Search pole vault. So I can see right here, I searched pole vault and I filtered it four to 20 minutes and uh, uh, sorted by view count. The reason I sorted it in uh, four to 20 minutes was so that I didn't get YouTube shorts clips mixed in. What we can see here, the top viewed one is Italian Athletics Indoor 2019 Women's Pole Vault. Um, you can see the thumbnail right there, pretty interesting. And we can see you know, why people are watching this. Okay, we can even see with the comment section why people are watching this. This is the fifth women's athletics video I've watched in a row. I'm a big fan of long jump, triple jump, and pole vault, you know. Whoever made these shorts mandatory is a genius and a hero. Edit, thanks for likes. <laughs> uh, men of culture, the algorithm has reunited us once again. Wow, what a talented cameraman. He shot the whole thing with only one hand. You guys can see where I'm going with this, but <laughs> pun not intended, but what we're going to look at is something that I found was ridiculous. If we look at track and field, then we filter it by the exact same thing, four to 20 minutes. This video, Italian athletics, indoor competition, which I'm sure is not that great. Okay. This is just a national competition. This video is the most viewed by 16, oh, by 6 million views. This is what track and field is ultimately whittled down to. Now I wonder, is every sport whittled down to this? Which one is the most sexually appealing? And the likelihood is gonna be yes, more than I'd hoped. Just to put this in perspective one last time, over the course of my YouTube channel, which is like five-ish years, in all of my videos combined, I have 31 million views. The amount of effort and time that has been put into this channel compared to the amount of effort and time that was put into this one single video is, it's probably immeasurable. Well, it's probably measurable by some degree, but they're not even close. Okay, and this, look, this isn't me just complaining. I understand how the world works. I understand that sex is a thing and that people are attracted to people. But again, let's look at, let's just look at long jump, okay? Men's long jump is at the top. Oh, there we go. Most beautiful moments, women's long jump qualification to run 2021. That doesn't make sense. Oh, look at that. <laughs> just happened upon that uh, shot as your uh, thumbnail. Oh, that one as well, and that one, and okay. This is insane. <laughs> ah! 
incredible performance from the cameraman. This legend recorded everything with just one hand. As a man of culture, I was never into sports until I began watching these incredible athletes and their perfectly chiseled skills in this area of sport. Hope you all have a great day. God bless these athletes. Obviously, the most important part of this sport is when the athlete gets up on her four limbs after the landing. The cameraman knows it, and he zooms accordingly to catch that crucial moment. She's a well-rounded athlete, and I will always stand behind her. Look, I want to I want to talk about this and then we'll just end the video. I just think it's very amazing that this is what athletics is whittled down to. But I'm not here to white knight and I'm not here to complain about the way things are. I'm here to open up some sort of a discussion. And here are the main points of the discussion that I want to talk about. One is the idea that if someone doesn't want to be sexualized, they shouldn't wear sexual things. This is problematic to some. This is problematic to most because someone should be allowed to wear what they want to wear to perform the way that they want to perform. However, they're not going to be able to control the way that the world views them. And naturally, the more revealing clothing is the more someone might look at someone else sexually. I've talked about this before on, um, I forget what video. Oh yeah, are weightlifters fat? And I said, you know, the beauty of weightlifting was that while people are wearing revealing clothing and while sure there are attractive people and there are people who are overweight and there are people who are jacked and there are people who look normal, when you're at the meet, when you're coaching someone, when you're training in the training hall, when you're lifting, when you're competing, you don't, and better yet, you can't focus on those things because you're so dead set focused on performance. Now, I imagine in a, in a very competitive environment like the Olympics, the same thing would go for long jump and for pole vault. But when you remove yourself from the equation and you post these things to, on, to, to the internet, these people are not there. So they're never going to understand performance. They're not, never going to, they're just going to look at how people look. And we have to understand that. So part of that, you know, don't, if you don't want to be sexualized, don't wear sexual clothing. It can't completely be ignored. And I can, I can even say that further with this example, this is something that I've been thinking about a lot. Billie Eilish chose to wear clothing that was baggy, that would cover her up more because she did not want to be sexualized. Now, if you think about what I had uttered earlier saying, if you don't want to wear, be sexualized, don't wear sexual clothing, that would be kind of the antithesis to what a feminist might say or what someone who who thinks that women shouldn't be sexualized uh, unless they choose to be, right? Someone who thinks that would uh, disagree with that. However, you have someone who is championing women's rights and championing, uh, you know, just femininity and, and, and all over the place, purposefully covering up. And what does that do? That points to other people who might be in the same place as her who are choosing either to be sexualized or choosing to sexualize themselves with what they're wearing. She is pointing that out. It's, it's, it seems as though it's this weird gray area where we can't determine um, what's right and what's wrong. And, and I want to tell you guys straight up, like I'm trying my best to tread lightly here because coming from a perspective of a coach, coming from a perspective of an athlete, I kind of agree with the idea that we should not just sexualize athletes first things first. But it's it's hard to ignore that other point, especially especially someone who champions women's rights like Billie Eilish when she's basically saying it herself. It's just something very interesting that I'm thinking about this this weird man, I'm telling you if you just look through the internet at, at all of these uh, you know, sports, there's synchronized swimming has them as well. Volleyball, beach volleyball has it as well. Tennis. It's just odd. 
you know, and a lot of times there are people out there that know it's going to get clicks. And to think that the most viewed video on track and field with, with the name track and field in the search bar, the most viewed video is just a random video with a bunch of horny dudes watching it. Anyways, that's all I have for the video today. Something to think about. Please comment in the, in the comment section below. Uh, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.